goes to show what an intelligent horse we I was fortunate enough to ride today, you know, for being his only fourth start, I was down on the inside and he was just he was traveling so good I was kinda able to just read the race to where we needed to be and he found his path and when I, when I finally got to the outside and just kinda let him cruise, he, he engulfed those horses around the four turns so easily. I was like, Man, what a what a great way to be traveling and turning for home he was just he was just that good that he just kinda had him over a barrel. You've been on a lot top of a lot of top horses for Kenny. I mean, where is this, one? this this one's special, you know, just because I think how intelligent he is. You know, he's got he's got all the intellect of a good horse. Like I said, for a horse to only be in his fourth race and to be able to do what he did today and do it in the manner he did, you have to you have to look forward to him and be excited about him. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, the horse has come a long way since two races back when he. he bolted or whatever what happened in that race at Saratoga well I mean he got hit in the eye um, he, he only thing we can figure is, is that a rock or a big clot of sand hit him in the eye at Saratoga his left eye was closed for several days post race and that was just kind of one of those hey that that was odd um, you know because he'd been a horse that had done everything right all, all spring and summer and we were pretty um, expect, we were expecting him to win that day but anyway these things things happen and you know we got him sorted out and you know, figured out, and there we go. We made it back to the top of the game here. Yeah, I mean, what kind of confidence did you come into this race? I mean, there were a lot of other horses that had just broken maiden as well. His last race, he he um, set inside, and Brian got him in nice rhythm. And Brian's great at that, and he rides well for us doing that. He set inside, and he just got him in nice uh, rhythm, and then kicked on home. And just the look in the horse's eye that day was, and he's, he's really intense, and he really he figured out how to finish. And um, so, so, but 13 horse field, you can't go in thinking, oh, I'm going to win today. You go in and you hope everything goes your way. And I had said to Sherry leaving the gate, I said, before they left the gate, I said, if the 13 horse fires off out of there, and that, that was the horse I think they made the morning line favorite. I said, if he leaves out of there fast, then we can win this race. Because that horse really, I think, needs to learn how to run. He's obviously very talented. And I think he's going to get better, and he's a horse that everybody else should pay attention to. But he set it up for us, and it was good. And Brian, once again, did a great job. The last part of it, though, was all your horse. Yeah, well, like I said, I mean, he the, the 22 46 and giving him something to run at, and Brian was real patient, and he just made his run. It was really similar to his maiden win at Churchill. Sure. Um, you know, he's a win and you're in for the Breeders' Cup. Uh, if you would choose to, to go to Del Mar, and it's – is my first, an, my first instinct is we might not go. I, don't, I you know, I'm not going to say. I, obviously, I need to sit down with the Mackins and see how the horse is doing. It's always enticing because it's win and you're in. Um, you know, this horse really likes Churchill, and you know, we don't have the stress of going out and back. I think to take him into the Kentucky Derby, I think he's got a better chance of doing that if we stay home. But um, you know, we'll do the math on it. And right now, I'm not going to say yes or no. But uh, you know, I'm going to contemplate not going. Um, I, know, I know that um, my first instinct is usually my best one, and I, I would love to win the Kentucky Jockey Club with this horse at home, and uh, I think that's set him up for a really good sprint. But what you'd really love to win is a Kentucky Derby, and so is this going forward, is everything kind of going to be with that objective in mind? Then? He's not going to have any trouble going a mile and a quarter. He's already figured out how to negotiate the traffic part of it, and um, he's obviously a big, long-strided colt. And, you know, the, the, the configuration of Del Mar is a little bit different. I think it's a little tighter turns. It's a shorter stretch. And um, I, I don't know. You right, right now, we don't have to decide. And somebody told me uh, years ago, no fast moves. Don't make a decision until you absolutely positively have to. So um, we'll, we'll, ta we'll take it and think it out pretty good. But wait, again, this was a 13-horse field. When you come into a full field like that, again, with young horses, um, a lot of different things can happen. But you you felt... If you get the trip with your horse, you'll take your chances from there. Yeah, no, I mean, he, he, he just gets a nice rhythm, and like I said, he, he knows how to finish, and, and Brian's a master at that. He's a, Brian Hernandez is the most underrated rider in America, and um, he rides really well for me and has for a long time, and when we don't ride him, it seems, ride him, it seems like we don't do as well, so I'm real proud of him, too. Uh, one more Breeders' Cup question. If he'd go out there and win, he'd be the two-year-old champion. Um, are you thinking there's bigger things than being a two-year-old champion? <laughs> Even well, if that would be great. <laughs> well, this this horse I think wants more ground, and he's a really big, growthy horse anyway. I mean, um, sometimes you can, you know, play a card too many times, and, and it works against you. 
But um, like I said, we'll see. I mean, uh, championship year would be great, but you know, winning the Kentucky Derby would be a big deal too. So it's like one of those high-level problems that we all want. Now this was a big day for you because your eldest daughter Jenna, 21 today. Yeah, this 21. For those that have remembered, um, you know, she's been in quite a few wind photos around here. And she's uh, she came back for the day. We had a little party at the farm tonight. And, she ordered a drink at lunch, and so, you know, Dad's going, hmm, how'd this happen so fast? But, yeah, she's a great girl, straight-A student. She gets that from her mother, not from her father. <laughs> but, anyway, she's, uh, it's great to have her here. Ask you what it's like on your 21st birthday, being here at Keeneland with your dad, and he wins a grade one, not just a grade one, but with a two-year-old colt. Um, it's definitely super nostalgic. I haven't been in the racetrack in a while. I'm in college in Ohio right now, but I'm so glad I got to be here today for him and to see my family, my sister. Um, it was just a really cool experience. I almost didn't believe it. Um, I was sitting there and I was watching the race and I was like, oh, we might have a shot. Sherry turned to me and was like, oh, uh, they're running fast up front. Like, we got a shot, we got a shot. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. And because I've watched hundreds of races and I'm like, you know, used to the odds of it. So we come around that turn and I was like, ah, oh, look at that, that's so cool. Obviously you've been around your dad a long time, 21 years. Yeah. Um, just the idea of him having potentially like another derby prospect. I mean, odds are you've been in it long enough, I think it's about time. <laughs> um, you definitely have just, uh, you definitely need the luck for it. But, We've knocked at the know. door at it and, and we've had some horses that deserve the chance and we just, you know, like anything, you got to have everything come in place. and. Uh, the ball bounced right, but this horse got changed for sure. Yeah. So, how cool is that being able to have uh, champagne legally uh, after this race and with your after your dad? Um, pretty <laughs> awesome, absolutely uh, phenomenal that I can do it legally now. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Look at that look. He's got the look. He did that earlier today. before before he was going to run. He, he started this, and I was like, <laughs> he's like, okay, let me out. Let's go someplace.